watching the 10 o'clock news. The company that runs the retail space, the Fulton Transit Center, is pulling the plug on its lease with the city 10 years ahead of schedule. The move shining a spotlight on the difficulty of doing business at a time when many people still feel afraid to use the subway. Fox Eyes Antoine Lewis has reaction to this news and the city's response. Rihanna Roberts stops by Krispy Kreme Donuts inside the Fulton Transit Center regularly, though both she and Krispy Kreme may have to find another location. Closing in a place like this, I don't see how that can, you know, help New Yorkers. The MTA says Westfield, the company which manages retail space inside Fulton Center, gave notice last month of plans to break its lease over concerns about crime in the subway. Fulton Center strap hangers are weighing in. This sounds like a different solution for a different problem if the issue is crime. I feel like subway problems are there everywhere. I do think they're overstepping when saying there's crime. This is one of the safest train stations. There's always police here, too. Nicholas Ritako, portfolio manager and director of finance at Ivy Global Real Estate Funds, believes Fulton Center has a dual problem beginning with its location. Between the office tailwinds of people not coming back and really frequenting that location as much, combined with the security concerns, security perception is reality, uh, it's very difficult for retailers to want to stay at that location. The NYPD reports transit crime is up just over 13% year to date. And to address transit safety concerns, the NYPD deployed 1,000 additional officers to support the MTA's police force. And last week, Governor Hochul announced that National Guard's troops would also be part of enhanced subway safety measures. In a statement to Fox 5, the MTA says, while we are unable to comment on specific pending litigation, we have full confidence in the NYPD, which has surged officers into the subway to ensure safety across the transit system, including at Fulton Center. The MTA can't comment any further because it has filed suit to keep Westfield right in place where it is, which of course sets up a showdown in Manhattan Federal Court. We'll keep you updated, but for now, we're in lower Manhattan. Antoine Lewis, Fox 5 News.